Hello, Rachel Dunscombe here, CEO of Opener, and welcome to Faces of Opener. Today, I'm joined by Chunlan Ma, who has got a clinical and informatics background. Thank you for joining me, Chunlan. Thank you, Rachel, for having me. Can you tell us a bit about your role, uh, where you work, and your history with Opener? Thanks, Rachel. Um, currently, I'm working in Ocean Health Systems um, as a lead uh, developer in Australia. Um, so I was uh, a gynecologist and obstetrician. Uh, I practiced um, in China for seven years. Uh, and uh, uh, then um, after that, I went to the UK. I did my master's uh, degree in Sheffield University. Um, after that, I, because I got a scholarship from the University of South Australia, I started my PhD in health, uh, health informatics in South Australia University. Um, yeah, so that's mainly, uh, my education and uh, previous uh, working experience as a clinician. And uh, after my PhD, um, I joined Ocean Informatics. That was the previous name of Ocean Health Systems in 2005. Um, so the second task uh, that we, I started is at that time, um, I worked with Heath Frankel. Uh, he was the technical lead in, in the company and we worked together um, to have a language that clinical modelers can use um, to um, start um, express what the queries requirement by using archetypes or templates. That was the original idea of that. So because we want to build um, open there is the, uh, the, the the fundamental um, goal of open air is to uh, to standardize the the data model, the clinical EHRs data model. That is so that is the uh, the technology neutral or system implementation neutral. Because of that, the query language also need to be uh, technology neutral. So you've been described as the powerhouse behind AQL, which is archetype query language. What's yeah. that journey like developing AQL? So um yeah, so it's initially it's basically because they, it is an innovation uh, where there is no any language um from archetypes uh we been thinking and research, we've been through all the existing query language. Uh, in the world at that time. Uh, so we've been through SQL, SQL query language, and also object um, oriented, you know, the, the data object query language, uh, et cetera. So finally, we sort of get some inspiration from SQL query. So SQL query is like the query, a query data from joining the tables. So we consider, okay, archetypes is really like the database tables. That was the original inspiration and the way started to have like select clause, front clause, where clause, that is a similar um, uh, concept syntax as SQL query language. And uh, but we are using archetypes instead of uh, the tables. Wow. Well, congratulations on leaving such an amazing legacy for everybody because your work's being used across the globe now. And Thank I wondered you. if I could ask you, what does it mean to you to be part of the Open Air community? And, um, you know, how do you interact with the Open Air community? I'm from clinical background and uh, I also uh, had the knowledge, have the understanding in the health systems. So basically when I first time to get myself um, exposed to open air specifications, I really found this is just the great model um, for representing the uh, electronic uh, medical record. Um, yeah, so it's, uh, at, the, at the beginning, um, 
um, the main person I have been really talked to is like Thomas Bill, um, the early yeah, the Sam Her, Doctor Sam Her, you know, just we have lots, lots meetings and discussions, um, about you know all these uh specifications, uh, uh you know, properties in classes, versioning control, all that sort of stuff. So it's amazing. Um, I think. Open air um specification is not an easy one. It's not. It's just people can't really think they can. If they read the specification, they can just have understand it within a short period of time. It's not. It, it won't work that way. Um. It's when the people start really be involved in you know, working within the open air community. You know, people need to be patient need to be ready. This is a challenge. This is not mm. an easy model because of the two-level modeling uh, approach. Um, so, but once we really, you, you just need to talk to other people, ask questions. And once we, we get, you know, get this, um, uh, you know, we ask questions, answer questions, discussions, read back to read the specifications, et cetera, I'm sure you will get it. And when we start talking to each other, we are, you know, it's just the, um, the same understanding of this model. And it's amazing. It's just um, really, you know, you talk to someone, you know, who really understands uh, what you're talking about. It just <laughs> The feeling is amazing. That's great. So my main takeaway from this is doing the right thing is not always the easiest way, but the community can support one another in doing it. Absolutely. Thank you so, you so much, Chun Lan. Um, it's fantastic to have you as one of the faces of Open Air. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you for having me.